Stand by for the latest episode of the Biz News Flash Briefing. The latest news from the world of business and investments. South Africa will dispose of 2 million Johnson and Johnson COVID-19 vaccines following a US ruling that ingredients for the country's doses may have been contaminated. The news marks a major setback in the country's vaccine rollout just as a third wave of infections is gathering pace. However, Aspen Pharmacare Holdings, Africa's largest drug maker, is set to begin the production of new J&J vaccines by midweek. The Alexander Forbes Group has agreed to sell its life business to Sunlum as part of its strategy to focus on its core retirements, savings and investments business. Alexander Forbes is now on the hunt for businesses to acquire to build out its employee benefits offering after finalising plans to exit its insurance arm. Fulvio Tonelli has been elected Chairman of South Africa's Independent Regulatory Board for Auditors. Earlier this year, Finance Minister Tito Mboweni dissolved the entire board of the watchdog that investigates auditing failures in corporate South Africa. Tonelli, a chartered accountant and former registered auditor, is a non-executive director of EBSA and previously served as audit partner at Standard Bank and First Rand. Under Tonelli, the board's immediate task is to initiate a process to elect and appoint the new CEO and to work with management to restore staff morale, says the Ministry of Finance. South Africa-born Tesla founder Elon Musk has hit back at South African financial services entrepreneur Magda Vizikscha of Signia over allegations in a business interview that he manipulated the price of Bitcoin for his own purposes. In a tweet, Musk responded to Vizikscha's allegations of his pump and dump strategy, saying, This is inaccurate. Tesla only sold 10% of its holdings in Bitcoin. He also said that when there's confirmation of reasonable clean energy usage by miners, Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transactions. That was your BizNews Flash Briefing. I'm Jackie Cameron for BizNews. For more on those and the other big stories of the day, visit biznewsradio.com. You've been listening to the Biz News Flash Briefing, bringing you the latest news from the world of business and investments. Subscribe to Biz News Radio on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, or by visiting biznews.com.